Let's start adding our fees. Doing this correctly is important to the registration process, and TeamSnap makes it easy to set up fees in many different ways. To get started, I'll click the Registration Fees button at the top of my form, then click the Create Your First Registration Fee button. This will bring up the Add Fee screen. I'll enter the name of the fee in the Name field and Brief Directions in the Instruction field. More detailed directions can be added in the Help Text field if needed. If the fee should apply to each person that registers, I'll check the Per Person Fee box for This fee is applied to each registrant. If the fee should apply just once per family if multiple participants are being registered under the same registration, I'll leave it unchecked. Now let's enter the fee choices. I can add as many fee choices as needed under one fee, but registrants will only be able to select one of the choices. I'll enter the name of the choice and the amount. If I checked the per person fee box, I can then opt to have the form auto filter the fee choices shown to the registrant based upon the birthday or gender they have entered on the form. To add another choice, I'll click the Add a Choice button. If registrants can enter any amount they want in this field, I'll check the Allow Registrant to Set Amount box. This is usually used to allow registrants to add a donation amount to their fees. Once I'm done, I'll click Save. If I have an additional fee that should be applied on top of whatever choice the registrant selects for my first fee, I'll create another fee and enter the details. If I need to control the fee amounts a bit more by adding early bird discounts, late fees, or multiplayer discounts, I'll click on the advanced link next to any fee choice to specify the adjustment. Let's add a late fee to our U6, U9 fee that is applied based on date. So I'll click advance next to the fee choice, then click add fee adjustment. I'll select the date I want the fee adjustment to begin, since this is a time-based adjustment. If I had an early registration discount, I'd want to enter that as the base fee choice, then enter my regular fee amount as an adjustment. If I had a late fee on top of that, I'd add another adjustment to start later. So let's go ahead and do that. We'll say that the base fee is the early bird pricing. So we'll select a date and have the fee changed on that date and click save. Then let's add another adjustment for late fee registration and we'll have the date set and the fee will adjust after that date until registration is closed. I'll click save and we can see our adjustments there. Now let's add a multiplayer or sibling discount for families who are registering two or more children. I'll click advance next to the fee choice, then add fee adjustment. Then I can either skip the date section if I want it effective immediately or set a date for it to start. I'll then enter the number of participants that need to be added for the fee adjustment to take effect. In this case, I am entering two. So this fee adjustment will apply when there are two or more participants added under the same registration. If adjustment amount changes when a third participant is added, I would need to add another adjustment with three entered here, and I could keep adding adjustments if the amount needed to change with each additional participant added. So the adjustments I add here will apply to each participant under a single registration. If this is the only multiplayer discount you add, then a family that registered two or more would see the adjusted amount for each child. So I'll hit save here and we can see all our fees listed with the adjustments we added. Now that we have added all the fees we need, let's go ahead and see how that looks in preview mode on our form by clicking the preview form button. Here I click add participant to fill in some dummy information so I can go through to the next screen and see my fees. I'll enter some random info here, if I wanted to check any multiplayer or sibling discounts I had set up, then I'd go ahead and click Add Participant again after I finished the first one. Once I filled out that info, I click Save and Continue and I will be taken to my fees screen where I can see how the fees are displayed. So you can see my first fee. The registration fee is only showing me the option that matches the birth date criteria that I set for that fee. It's not even displaying the U6, U9 fee because the participant is not eligible for that group. Okay, so I will select that fee, and then I'll skip the next one so we can see what happens if I try to move on without selecting that. Then on my next fee, you can see I have two options because if you remember, I set up a $0 option under none, and then there were boys and girls kits that were based on the participant's gender. So the form is matching up the gender entered and displaying the fields to the registrants that apply to them to keep things simple and easy. I'll go ahead and click save and continue and you can see that the form gives me an error because I didn't make a selection for the second fee. 
Since I set those each up as separate fee items rather than as choices under one fee item, I have to select something under each fee item to be able to move on. I'll go ahead and select that and click Save and Continue again, and I will be taken to my checkout page where I can see how the fees are listed with the participant's name. I'll close out this tab and return to my registration form and click the Back to Registration button. Now that we've added all the fees we need, we're ready to set up the payment methods and checkout adjustments.